Final round of Group A in the Ranked Royale 2v2 for North America. We're going to have Team First Killer versus Team LJ. Now, Team First Killer is in for sure. Team Cam is out. But both games matter because plus minus might decide whether or not Team LJ is in. I think if Team LJ wins, they're in for sure. But there might be a world in which grabbing some games matter. You can go ahead and pause the video and figure it out. I've decided not to figure it out. I'll just keep going. So try and win as many games as possible. That's always the play as we get into round three. Chat, here we go with the final round of Group A. Team First Killer is in. But I bet you they want to go for their nice 9-0 because why not? Show some dominance over the NA scene. Team LJ came in as the second seed. The only broken seed matchup so far was Team LJ versus Team Ajax. Team LJ should have won that as he finished higher rated. But Ajax did. Can Team LJ show why he got as high of a seed as he did or as high as a rank as he did by maybe taking down Team First Killer? If he is able to take Team First Killer down, I know for sure that he's in. That I can be certain that with a win, Team LJ is in. But they probably need to scavenge up as many games as possible in case Team Ajax dominate over in that other matchup. Team First Killer are going to strike first, though. Shouldn't be terribly surprised. If you look at this on YouTube, just know you're goaded. Look at that. Terminations. I just directed everybody to it as well, although after it showed up. So just know if you read chat today, you're goaded. LJ. Are we going to be able to see... Some magic work from him. We normally see LJ playing twos alongside Chronic. Chronic was high enough that he also would have qualified had he been able to play. But none of Gen G able to play in the tournament. LJ picked up Evo to play alongside. All the top players picked any teammate they wanted. First killer picking Gyro and LJ picking Evo. And first killer showing why he picked Gyro. As Gyro launches a long shot. In for a second goal. Evo from the back wall. His dribble drops short as LJ and First Killer pinch. Is there going to be a follow-up from LJ? Force save out of Gyro. Both LJ and Evo swinging out around from behind the ball. So not likely to be able to stay on offense. Gyro 50 with Evo. Can't get back to the ball. Before LJ takes it away, first killer forced to pre-jump in order to stop LJ from getting a shot attempt. Evo looking to slot top right. Gets credited with a shot, but no save necessary. This shot will be credited and converted as LJ passing off the back wall and tried to clear out first killer as well, although I don't think he made connection with him. First killer just couldn't make the save off the back wall. Are they calming is a good question. I would say that most teams probably are. But it also wouldn't surprise me if any teams were not. Because I know a lot of rank 2s has played without comms. And maybe they just want to recreate their ranks. First killer is dribbling Evo. Gyro, 50, first killer just sitting on the goal line. LJ almost surprised by sliding in to chip a shot. Evo playing around the first man of team first killer. Demo means LJ is going one on one against Gyro. He still plays it quick. And Gyro almost had the pass in field. Good recovery from Evo, but it's not going to matter because Evo not disciplined in net. 
didn't recognize that he needed to swing around and stay there. He comes all the way out of the goal and won't be able to make it back for the save. Had he stayed on that far post, he actually might have been in position, but of course, tough play to make in the heat of the moment. How did Buster Bar become the decal out of nowhere? I think it was Batira. Batira and his Hulk decal. That's the first time I remember it. Batira popped off on some regional and he was using it with green and purple. But that's what I remember. It was Ray's Bowl? Maybe it was Ray's Bowl. Yan and Card will win 4 2 against First Killer Gyro in the final game to win the tournament. It, yeah, best of sevens for the playoffs, so it is correct to predict a best of seven scoreline as LJ goes off the wall on this kickoff for the ground pinch. Off the ceiling to set it up as well. It was Zen. Listen, I think by the time Zen was using it, I think people had already been using it a lot. Astral, though, he is a bit of a... Pioneer, right? Astral actually takes chances, I'm pretty sure. So it would not surprise me if Astral took a chance and made a car before anyone else. And then everybody followed him. Great shot, by the way, from LJ, who's coming alive. As he's looking to work his way back in game one. First killer. Redirect off the wall. Gyro putting this in front of the net. Maybe trying to get the ball to first killer. Felt dangerous, but he is able to cover the Evo dunk attempt. Gyro. Air Jewel 50. LJ up first to the ball. But first killer on the other side of it demos him in the process. Block winding down. LJ and Evo have to just dive. They need a prayer. And first killer is not going to answer it. The 50 shot all the way into the orange half and onto the ground. It is team first killer. Continue where they left off against the other teams with a 1-0 start. Is there going to be a ranked Royale threes? I think I can say fairly confidently that there will not be a ranked Royale threes. I don't think ranked threes is something that pros really want to play. I don't think they want to even be given incentive to try and play it. And if anything, we'll probably look for more ways to do 1v1 tournaments. I think that's the bread and butter. Also, threes seems like a nightmare to schedule. Twos is already hard enough with additional teammates. Although I did realize you just have to go with like team captains. You just have to be like, this your team, you're responsible for your team, and I'm gonna talk to just you, and your team better show up, <laughs> you know, when your stuff is scheduled, because otherwise I, I can't afford to schedule with absolutely everybody. But still, ooh, first killer almost getting a goal in the first 30 seconds. Even then, when I was scheduling out this tournament, you know, having to make adjustments because there's so many more teams, so many more people with obligations. It's hard to do. When he casts RLCS. Imagine if there was one ranked team allowed in. Whoever was ranked one, two, and three auto-qualified to an RLCS close qual. You know, like the Swiss stage. Nice play by LJ, by the way. So quick off the wall to tap it past first killer. And Team LJ has maybe their first lead. You feel like everybody just calls everybody the GOAT? I think the GOAT is certainly, certainly started to be overused. <laughs> There's no way everybody who's been called a GOAT can be the greatest of all time. So there's no doubt about it. That being said, LJ is the GOAT. 2-0 lead. LJ doing it all. That would be hype, but it would be botted and win traded. Yeah, it would be botted for sure. It would force Psyonix to more actively clear the bots and win traders out. 
Because I think Sonics is fully aware of who's win trading and who's botting. It's just, you know, like we saw with the cheaters before, they have to wait to a very calculated time to take them all out. But they have to be much more active about it. A dive from, I believe it was Evo, deep in the blue half, makes it possible for a first killer to put his team on the board. Gyro in first, immediately equalized following their first goal. Evo wins a great 50. First killer, man, what a pass. Insane pass off the back wall. I wasn't sure how the ball made its way back out to Gyro, but apparently it was a nutty setup that did it to make sure LJ never got a play on the ball. First killer is the North American ranked GOAT. Who else are ranked GOATs? Khaled, I know, had rank one in every mode. I, he's probably up there with the ranked GOATs. First killer, I think, is a good call as well. Although, I don't know how much he does threes. Monkey Moon, yeah, Monkey Moon might be the ranked GOAT. Zen has done a lot. Yeah, Lion Blaze had rank one. As soon as Lion Blaze went to east, he got rank one on every single mode. That was cool. Nice fake by first killer. Evo off the wall, falling away. Yeah, there's a, there's a short list of players who have been rank one in all modes. Lion Blaze is one of them. LJ broke a record. Yeah, LJ is a two specifically ranked GOAT though. I felt like when someone said ranked GOAT, they're kind of implying every mode. Does LJ have the record right now for two's MMR? Moxie is only a one's ranked GOAT, so we can't really put him in. I'm talking about every mode. All around ranked GOAT. Yan is up there. Yan only when he's in NA though, because he doesn't play other servers, so he couldn't get that high when he wasn't in NA, but now he can. This is enough people to farm points off of. Justin is the casual goat. Oh, nice demo by Evo. Preventing first killer's low 50 goal. TRK and Daniel. Daniel is definitely up there as far as ranked goats. I don't know if he does threes. I think the biggest problem with most players is that they don't do a ton of threes. But at least ones and twos. I know some of the Mina guys do though. TRK I think does play threes. I think Nupo plays threes as well. Monkey Moon got it, then LJ got it after. Monkey Moon is a good shout. Monkey Moon, first killer. Probably the two guys to think about. Does Justin have the highest casual MMR? No, I thought Sunless Khan did a video on the guy who had the highest casual MMR. And it was like... Evo should gonna chase first killer away. LJ able to tie it up. I thought it he, like he was good, but he like wasn't that crazy good. LJ able to take the lead. Evo pre-flipping behind the ball and. Popping it back out to LJ. What did the predictions say? After our stream just watched Team First Killer do work against the two previous rounds, it looks like 68% still some LJ believers. They know about the record that he holds in twos and they have faith in him. Twenty-three seconds for the first loss for Team First Killer. Evo, huge boom to the back wall. First Killer's not there. Gyro the demo to keep his team in it, but LJ has enough boost to work with. Probably is going to be able to play a decent amount of shutdown D here in the corner in order to prevent an opportunity. Evo with twelve boost, he's just going to fake as it comes down to the ground. 
So Gyro is forced to get to the ball and do something about it. But it will be LJ and Evo who take the first win off of First Killer and Gyro. All right, we start again. I think I'm about to restart the overlay remake. Remake it is. That works for me. Because I need to restart the overlay. Uh, refresh this guy. And then come over here. And boom, 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 boom. Did they give me party? They did. Chahiri not go. Uh, looks like I need to go set the game score. It's 1-1. One, one. Game number three. First killer and Gyro versus LJ and Evo. My game just randomly crashed. If you're here on the YouTube, then you didn't get to see it. Maybe if I hit update series button. No. Okay. We go here. It is one to one. Team LJ was able to get the first win off of Team First Killer. Team, not Team Gyro, but just Gyro. Trying to bump from the back wall. Nice pass. This first killer comes down from the wall. LJ able to take it out of the orange half. Yeah, at the top, it is boost total for the whole team. So when there are 2v2 or boost percentage, you know, if it were threes, it would go up to three, uh, 300. But yeah, right now, if you see at the top, the full bar, it means both players on the team have 100 boost. LJ passed the Evo. Nice pre-flip. Strong shot. Gyro actually huge clear with the crossbar pinch. That's back to first killer on the back wall. He is not going to make a move until pressured. He flicks over the top of Evo when he is. Gyro sends it to the ceiling, actually back up to the ball, and he might have outplayed first killer. First killer could have put on a stronger touch than Gyro did. Gyro played it around him. First killer flick. Evo was up ahead, threatening. Or wait, Gyro was up ahead, threatening the bumps. LJ down to Evo. That net does look open. First killer, what? First killer. The man who never makes a mechanical mistake. I think he just made one. <laughs> I think he just flipped right past the ball. That, I mean. <laughs> Everybody, write it down. The only time you'll ever see First Killer do something like that. It happened for me at 6.55 p.m. on a random Tuesday. LJ taking the ball from Evo's dribble. Uh-oh. First Killer on a mistouch off the wall. Slams the ball off the wall, and LJ gives it a bit of extra power. Can he stick around to be a pest and convert on a possession, or is it just going to be first killer and gyro the other way? First killer trying to slam a double onto the back wall, but LJ stops it. Now, zero boost flick. What a solid flick. I was watching LJ and Evo play earlier on Taco Stream, and chat had a lot of good things to say about LJ's flicks, and I think I see why now as he launches... The zero boost one in for a 2-0 lead. First killer, a fast dribble that he's not able to make much out of. Oh my goodness, Evo. Taking LJ's pass. Up to ceiling height. First killer wants a double, and it's just barely off target. Gyro's forced in follow up 50. Gets sent away. Gyro now 
to first killer. LJ able to break it up before anything comes of it. Gyro certainly not in ball cam right now as he bumps defenders. Even though director cam makes us think that. Evo, a pinch alongside first killer. What a shot! Oh my goodness, I wish that was on target. That would have been one of the craziest shots. We have seen so many almosts in this tournament already. Just a little bit different angles, and we have the nuttiest clips alive. LJ is going to maybe take a lead in a series on Team First Killer, and in a very important series indeed. The only way for LJ to put the entire life in his hands, to put his own life in his hands, I believe, is to win the series. Otherwise, he has to check in on how Team Ajax is doing. And Team LJ is going to go up 4-0. 46 seconds. And they continue to extend it with a kickoff play. He definitely is him, Jay. Auto mod caught a chatter's message who's a little bit too hyped about LJ. Passing play between LJ and Evo. Now it's Gyro with first killer playing lead blocker. It goes to take Evo out. Gyro puts it off the backboard and Evo is first to recover instead of first killer. LJ and Evo take two games. First killer, almost a sick own goal for the road. But it looks like it will touch the ground. We'll take a nice one minute break before we go to game four. Game number four. Normally my, uh, I, I delayed because normally my overlay automatically updates, but because of the whole game crash debacle, I am going to have to uh, update it myself. So 2-1, 2-1 for LJ Evo. First killer with just LJ to beat. Not able to, even though I talk about it multiple times. Suggesting somebody has one player to beat, it is true. But unlike ones, you cannot play it as slow as you do there. Just because you have one player to beat doesn't mean you can take 20 minutes to try and fake them out and then score. There is a level of urgency at all times in 2v2. So you do ultimately need to make a take that has a certain level of speed. And that, and that doesn't make way e it makes it way easier to defend. When you as the last back defender, as Gyro goes to tap one in, Know that the player has no choice but to go quickly, and if they do slow down, you will eventually have help. Does make defending five times as easy. Game crash debacle, more like scandal! Exclamation point, drama. Gyro and LJ, 50 first killer here is Evo up, so all he has to do is get to the ball first, and he knows it. I'm not sure that first killer necessarily wants to go up to this ball if Evo's sitting and waiting, because if Evo's sitting and waiting, this is a bad play. Evo probably gets to control it as it comes to the ground here, but as soon as he knows that Evo's coming up as last back, he, all he has to do is beat you. I don't have to worry about where the ball goes, because Gyro will clean it up. And first killer... Has he ever beat anybody to the ball? Yeah, I think he beats people to the ball. Yo, thank you for the $20 donation to the prize pool. Fear Stream Enjoyer 69. Quite the name. I will add an additional 20 as well, which I believe puts us somewhere at like 330. 3, 330 prize, right? That's quick math.
First killer. Almost used the ceiling reset to stay up for this defensive take, but he needed a lot more boost to work with. Evo close to scoring. Gyro clean catch on the clear. Can he get in front of the ball? He cannot. Evo's back. Slams it out of the orange half. How many days will this take? It all ends on Friday. But we'll have a good amount of games each day. Evo infield. LJ plays it slow and Evo bumps. LJ just lets it roll in. Evo with the reset drop down. He actually had the wave dash to regain speed in order to get to the bump in time. Really great play from Evo. So many different ways to use the flip that you get back from the ball. Flip resets for the longest time have been a part of the game and everybody's mainly thought of their use as a way to get another touch on the ball, but as time has gone on, people recognizing all the different uses for making sure you get a flip and wave dashing to the ground so you can catch up and demo the goalie is not a bad one to have. Yo, McGoodles, thank you for the prime for 11 months. Thanks for another great tourney, and congrats on the baby. Thank you. First killer and Gyro trying to force game five right now. Evo faking a shot on target and then using his flip to get to the wall. Made it seem like he was going to try and get a tough angle shot. Side flip past Gyro. First killer there to collect, and Evo continues his demo brigade. What boost is LJ using? I think he's using Sparkles. I think both LJ and Evo were using Sparkles, right? Although Evo might have changed. Angel, then you're the $5 dono. We'll add it on to the prize pool. I'll add another five as well. Gyro, nice 50. Evo, I don't think is going to be able to recover. Long shot is wide. Follow up, though, is good. LJ. Catch and power slide cut. Team LJ are going to be throwing the house, I'm sure, in the final 30 seconds. No reason not to. They probably have one last opportunity right here to score before following up with a kickoff. And LJ and first killer will trade on demos. Evo has a save. But likely, oh my goodness, wait, wait a second. He does find a way to score. Look at the shot from Evo. Gets the reset on the ball low to the ground. You know, we're talking about the creativi creativity with the resets. You don't have to be aerialing to make something out of the ball reset. And Evo shows that right there. Now you need some kickoff shenanigans probably. But they just try and win the kickoff. And LJ cheats up. First killer should be able to hit ground. Ooh, close. But not enough. It'll be game five between team first killer and team LJ. Game number five. Team first killer versus team LJ. Evo is going to score first off the kickoff. LJ wins it into the blue half. Double cheats from both teams. Gyro has himself a free net, although he might have missed it. He was up in case he didn't. But he does put it just off the post and in. If you sub, does it go to the prize pool? It does not. It does ultimately because I am matching the prize pool. And so 
basically your sub goes to my match instead of directly to the prize pool. But you can get double your worth by donating. Because then yours goes directly to the prize pool and an additional of mine. First killer. Tapping the ball down to where his teammate is. Collecting 100. Gyro's air dribble. Attacked with gusto by Evo. He's able to push it back to first killer LJ. Out of boost. Evo bumps away the opposition and lets LJ control. Despite not having much to work with. Evo 50 in the corner, a bump, first killer has to get back, three minutes, this could be LJ's, Team LJ's tournament life on the line here in this game five, I believe Team First Killer should be in the top two either way, although they might lose the first seed and have a much tougher matchup, they might have to play say Team Yan, if Team Yan ends up winning on the other side in the first round, definitely something these players want to avoid. Gyro, or not Team Gyro, I just keep saying team in front of everybody, but it is Team First Killer and Team LJ. Gyro and Evo both pickups by the player that qualified. But Gyro's trying to show why I'm calling it Team Gyro as he gets the reset and the bump to put Team First Killer up 2 1. Gyro on the air dribble near the ceiling, double reset. Why not make it a triple? First killer, wall dashes back to the ball, decides not to go for the dunk. Figures LJ would have been able to redirect it away and it's not worth using up his momentum. So he turns back around. Leave the 300 bits. TZ for Ruben. 3-0 on the line right now for Team First Killer. And they're currently holding on. First Killer to the corner. The double is directly at Evo. There's a demo on LJ, but Gyro also slightly out of position. He does make his way back. Backflip from LJ. Gets the ball to First Killer. Is Gyro actually going to be able to make something out of that crazy pinch? It just might be. LJ up to Evo, who has just first killer to beat. Too high on the flick. The net well covered by first killer. Team Ajax, life is on the line. Is that right? If LJ wins, he's in, right? First killer trying to eliminate Team LJ. The only upset in seed so far, assuming Ajax was able to beat Cam over on the other stream, is Team Ajax beating Team LJ. This could be the second if Team LJ can bring it back. They only have a minute 14. Gyro upfield to first killer. Smooth catch, cannot dunk on LJ. Under a minute, LJ passed to himself. Seemed like he was trying to touch the midfield for Evo, but first killer to the ball long before Evo's around. Evo to the ceiling. LJ trying to play blocker. He does, but Evo has an awkward landing and it allows Gyro to get back. Evo's now going to play blocker for LJ. And this time, it does work out. Gyro can send that one to the backboard, but cannot stop LJ from following it up. 31 seconds. We need to see a bit of kickoff mix-up, I feel like, from Team LJ, but they have just stuck with their kickoffs. They feel confident about them. So it's a standard win with a close cheat. Evo 
dunks it in. Team LJ, they had the plan, and they execute. Evo to himself off the corner. Gyro had a position as he was slightly shadowing the play. Didn't expect the shot to come so quickly. And now with 26 seconds, it is coming down to the wire. LJ, air dribble, reset, Evo lead blocking, LJ gives his team the 4-3 lead, seconds ago, they were down and it seemed like all hope was lost, but they realized they needed to clear out the nets and have both helped each other, retake what should be theirs, 4-3, 15 seconds now to hold on to their lead. We're in a completely opposite situation. What is Director Cam doing? It does switch to Evo. First killer goes underneath the air dribble. He has the ball in a scoreable position, but Evo strikes it to the ground, and the second up, second upset of Ranked Royale happens with LJ Evo over first killer and Gyro, which means both teams qualify for the playoffs.